Hello and well. <laughs> Ricky knocked it off. Quit it. Let's stop it. Hello and welcome back to another episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Flower Gold Wizards in the can. There's over an ounce of gold in this giveaway can, and when I hit 7,000 subscribers, one lucky subscriber is going to get it. Back in a bit. So today what we've got is a little package I got from Chuck Gentles. Now he's got a YouTube channel. He runs out of Arizona. And uh, as you can see by his sticker here he sent me, he runs a dredge down there and he, you know, does some metal detecting and uh, dry washing, etc. Uh, he, he also sent along a little note and I'll go ahead and read it. It says, Jason, just a thank you for all you do for the YouTube community. Here's a bag of my dredge cons for you to do with what you like. One pound, ten ounce, with over a gram of shiny. I don't sell these, I just give it away to special creators, Chuck Gentles. And on the back, I'm sorry, I ripped your, your note there. It says, uh, the other bag is for the special dog in most of your videos. Well, that, that would be Rigby, and he'd even put on there, Rigby only. And there was uh, two or three of these little these little dog bones in there but my wife didn't take kindly to that because we do have another dog and she opened that baby up and she f uh, fetched one over to the other dog but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one right up over here Rigby's in here filming with me today as he saw a little earlier there he can have that right there he's gonna like that oh yeah there he goes okay back to business so that's what we got from Chuck, and he and we got a nice bag here, and he sent me a sticker, and that's gonna go up on uh, up on the sticker fridge over here. Hey, hey, hey! I got all kinds of stickers on there. Chuck, you're gonna go right there, I think. Okay. La, 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 la. And well, on the, another item on the action item list here, uh, I've got some pay dirt from the Wausau Prospectors Club. Uh, recently, I went there and I did a and I did a beach mining presentation there. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There was an awful lot of people there, and I appreciate you guys having me and uh, for for going up there and doing that. They gave me this this bag of pay dirt here from the Constellation Mining Company in Quartz Creek, Alaska, and that's going to go in the can as well. That was their wishes, so that's where it's going. So, if anything else you you like, you see here. You just let me know. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's start off with Chuck Gentle stuff. Back in a bit. All right, let's get down to business. It's in one of those uh, typical coffee cans. I've been seeing so many people pack their stuff in. And it is, it's heavy. There isn't much material in there. Um, but I can tell it's good and black. That's black stuff in there. I got a... I got a funny feeling about this. So I've got my little, my tiny little strainer here and we'll go ahead and we'll strain that stuff off into this big blue getting her done pan. And oh yeah, that's, that stuff is just black, 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 black. But it, uh, most of it is going through the strainer, which may or may not be good news. All right, and it looks like we've got, uh, you know, I don't know, a big tablespoon, I guess, of uh, uh, bigger than strainer stuff. So let me spin the camera right on over here. This way here. And I'll we'll go ahead and dump that in there. Now, I'm gonna take my magnet here and I'm gonna do a little, little separating. Look at that. There's some really big magnetite, etc. in that stuff there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my time a little bit. Let me do a little bit on this, uh, on this smaller material just to check. And that is absolutely packed 
<laughs> with magnetite, etc. So this is going to take a little while. I'm definitely going to take my time and get a lot of this stuff out of there. I'll uh, probably, probably um, just take it off, throw it into that pan real quickly, like such. And then I'll do a little bit of cleanup out of the one pan rather than uh, mess around like this. Oh my goodness, look at all that. All right, back in a bit. All right, we're back. I've got all the black sand out of that material. That yeah, took a long time. Here's what's left. It was all black sand. I'm just kidding. I'll put that in there. Get off of there. Here's what's left. There's way more black sand than anything else. I mean, probably double double black sand to um, to regular material. This stuff's good and dry, and I can actually see quite a bit of gold uh, gold in this stuff. Let me see if I can get in on one there. You know, it's kind of hard to pick up, but I can see uh, there are some specks of gold in the smaller than kitchen strainer stuff. And here's the the larger than uh, this here kitchen strainer stuff. And there's some nice pieces in there. Look at that one right there, for instance. Let me get my finger in there. There we are. There's a nice flake. There's another one right up in there. So this is going to be quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Hologram. So, let me uh, get a little bit of water going here. I got my sluice set up uh, from something else I was doing. And I'll throw some water in this tub and we'll do a little bit of panning. Back in a bit. All right, we might as well begin with this uh, larger than strainer material right here. I mean, I can already see some nice gold flakes in there, which is always exciting. I'll go ahead and get this pan down real quickly. That stuff's easy. Once you get all that magnetite out of there, it's, it's um, quite a bit easier. And I should be able to pan that back real quickly now. And I do have quite a bit of uh, jet dry in this water from uh, my other activities. So that's why we're seeing so much for suds here. Oh, there's lots of pieces in there. I, I didn't even see uh, just kind of staring at that. Let me uh, get this yank back just a little bit more. <laughs> Look at them bad boys. Look at all those big flakes in there. Yeah. All right. Let me get that piece out of there. Oh, that's nice. One more little chunk of something or another. Get those out of there. There's some really nice pieces right there. Look at how big that one is. Ooh wee. I'm going to get those in a little container. And we're going to get to panning uh, the smaller than kitchen strainer stuff. Ooh, is that looking nice. Big, nice big pieces. Back in a bit. All right, we got that all picked up. We're going to go ahead and dump a little bit of it. I might as well do about half. I think I could do that easy enough. Throw that in there. We'll do a little bit of panning of that. And oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh that's some pretty light material in there now. So this shouldn't really be that difficult whatsoever. I don't know if there's uh much for non-magnetic black sand in there. We'll find out real quickly right here but uh the way it looks right now most of that is uh light wash sand left over and that didn't take long at all to get down to the end let me peel this back one time quickly and we'll just do a little peeksy yeah there's still a decent amount of uh, non-magnetic black sand in there and uh, I'm not really sure if that's uh, garnet sand in there, but it looks like there's some uh, possibly burnt orange material in there. And there is some gold starting to show up. There's um, uh, some real small looking flakes in there. So, oh yeah, here it comes. Let me see if I can get that uh, tapped up there while we're painting it back a little bit. See if we can get a little bit of a smile for you. There, look at that. There we go. Oh yeah, starting to show up now. Looking good, looking real good. 
All right, let me get this stuff cleaned up real pretty like, and we'll take a look at it. Pick it a bit. All right, we've got Chuck Gentle's gold all cleaned up and in this here vial. And I, I'm going to weigh it up shortly, but I, was, I just wanted to point something out. And maybe Chuck didn't even know, but he sent me a piece of pirate gold. Yes, sir, that is pirate gold. And I'll show you why they call it that, that big flake. Watch this here. It, it, it just walked the plank right off the end of my pan. <laughs> right there it is. <laughs> yep, that's pirate gold, all right. Back in a bit. All right, here's all that gold right here. Doesn't that look nice? Some nice, nice coarse pieces in there. 90% of them are nice, just flat, coarse, chunky looking pieces. And then of course that big chunk of pirate gold. So I'm gonna take this right here. We're gonna go and throw that on my, on my furnace over here like such, right there. All right, let's see what else we got on the action item list. And next up on the action item list, this bag of pay dirt I got from the Wausau Prospectors Club. I can't wait to see what's in there. I'll, I don't get a whole lot of stuff from Alaska, so let's dig into it, shall we? Back in a bit. All right, let's begin. And it comes in your typical coffee container again. Your coffee type container again. Looks like it's wrapped in another bag. What else is in there? It's like a chunk of paper or something. Let me see if I can get my mitt in there. AlaskaPayDirt.com. How to pan. <laughs> okay. Here's our other bag right here. We've got a little sandwich bag. A little he heavier than, the, than your typical sandwich. Ooh, but it's dry. Instantly got some dust coming out of that bag. So we're gonna throw it in our little strainer here. And it looks like there is gonna be some material that does not go through the strainer. Well, it's really gray. Like that stuff I just looked at from Chuck that was instantly dark colored coming out of that bag. And this stuff uh, is gray like gravel, like you would see like limestone gravel. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a snatch those couple there back up and uh, we'll strain that baby out. All right, for the most part, I got it all through the strainer. I did a couple of them popped out of there, but that's no big deal, there ain't too much of that. And this stuff is just really super fine and powdery. Look at how small that stuff is. And then uh, here's what didn't go through the the uh, strainer, and it was a good, you know, a good amount of material there. Um, which you know, on this, it could tell it's really light stuff. It's a little dirty, but uh, I'll be able to pan that off real, real easily. So I might as well. I got this thing in my hand. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pan that quick. Now I throw all this uh, gold people donate for the can in the can. And if anybody wanted to send me some stuff to uh, throw into the can for our big 7,000 subscriber giveaway, go ahead and uh, leave me an email. Or, I, or just let me know what you want to do and I'll leave you my email. And uh, we can get to get together that way. All right, now I'm, that was plenty easy. And I'm actually seeing some pretty fair looking pieces of gold in there. I like that. Look at them bad boys. So, let me start working on all this fine powdery stuff. And we'll take a look at it. Back in a bit. All right, there's the plus kitchen strainer stuff. Look at how coarse them pieces are right there on the right side. That's, uh, that's a really chunky looking piece. It's got uh, like a little cavity in it or something. Very, very cool. All right, I can tell that stuff's gonna take just a little bit longer being so dirty and, and fine. So let me start on that. We'll be back in a bit. All right, Chuck Gentle's gold's all dried up. I got my macro lens on. We'll take a little look at it. Ooh, look at how coarse that stuff is. Isn't that nice? Look at that big flake there. That's the one. That's that piece of pirate gold. 
Oh, is that ever handsome, Chuck? Thank you. Now I've got that in my, uh, my measuring device there. And I've got my measuring device. So, let's go ahead and turn this puppy on. And get that light off so you can see the numbers. And I'll throw this on there. 3.95. That's what they always weigh. They're both the same. And we'll tear it out. And we'll throw this on there. 1.05, 1.02. There's a gram right there. Right on the money, Chuck. You nailed it. You know where that gold's going right there? That Another gram? Right here. Right in the can. It's in there. <laughs> All right. I've got that gold right there ready to go in my little pan. We're going to throw it on the furnace. Back in a bit. All right. I've got that uh, Wausau Prospector's Gold over there on my furnace. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I want to show you guys a little something. Now, as you probably know, I'm kind of partnered up with Tom's Gold Dirt a little bit. And I think he's got a great channel, and uh, two heads are better than one. And he does give me a slight discount on the gold I buy from him. And I do. I buy, uh, I buy my share of gold to do some giveaways, etc. However... I have been uh, doing some other things with the gold I buy from Tom's Gold Dirt. Take this uh, pail right here, for instance, my tailings pail. Every once in a while, I'll buy some Tom's Gold Dirt. I don't even pan it out. I just dump it in there, like this brand new bag. That's my Patreon pail right there. And that baby is really getting loaded up. That is a special thank you from me to my patrons out there. Um, every month you guys, you know, throw into the kitty and I, I, I do give back uh, half the money in gold pater giveaways and I just wanted to do something a little bit extra. So this is just for you guys. Thank you. All right. We've got our Alaskan pater it all dried up. I'll go ahead and throw that on there. And we'll tear it out. And we'll throw our gold on there. 0.16. Well, I tell you what, it's not the heaviest in the world, but you know where that's going? Right in the can. Let me grab that sucker. There it is. It's in there. We are rapidly approaching an ounce and a quarter in this can right now. That's exciting. <laughs> And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Flower Gold Wizards in the Can. I'd like to give a special thanks to Chuck Gentles and the Wausau Prospectors Club. Thank you very much. And you may have also noticed I have a little bit of apparel selection to my left and right. Also an assortment of stickers. Uh, let me know what you think of some of that stuff if you had a decent look at it. And that's a wrap. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. Flower Gold Wizards, oh.